Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. In this case I'm going to explain how to perform very easily and very quick navigation in any world, in any environment. So let's go. For that I'm going to use uh, RDS, the ROS Development Studio. So first of all let's go to the RDS website. There it is. Now I'm going to move to the public simulations so it is available for anyone to try it so I'm going to select the Kabuki simulation in this case this one here so let's click the play button and run in this case we are going to use the main.launch file so let's run the simulation and wait uh, a few, few seconds until it loads the world environment Great, so here we have the world, as you can see here we have the simulation window, the web shell and the IDE where we can check the files and everything. You can switch this configuration as you please, for instance, I don't know, if you want to have the IDE here, the web shell bigger, you can maximize obviously any part to, to be able to work better, whatever you want. In, in my case I'm going to leave it uh, like this by the moment yes so the first thing I'm going to do is to is to launch another world because this one is very basic to perform navigation so what I'm going to do is to come here I'm going to select the Chatterbot gazebo package that is the one that launches the simulation and and inside here I'm going to to upload a new file a file of, of my own in this case so I'm going to blow this, uh, is this Costa Coffee world. Excellent. So as you can see now, my world appears here in the worlds folder. So now what I'm going to do is to access the main.launch file, which is the file that is launching the simulation. And I'm going to um, put my world in the inside here so that it launches my world instead of this one. So Costa Coffee Min, there it is. Let's save this file and relaunch the simulation. Again, the main launch file. Excellent, so here we have our world, as you can see, which is much nicer in order to perform navigation. Here it is the, the robot, hidden by this column here, there it is. Okay, so here we have our cafeteria, our cafeteria world. Let's minimize, let's hide this, because we don't need the notebook for now, so... Excellent. Okay, so now let's begin to work with the navigation, to launch a navigation system. So the first thing we need to do, always we, we want to work with navigation, is to create a map of the environment, right? So that's what we are going to do right now. And if you come here to the, to the Kobuki packages, to the simulation packages, in the Turtlebot Gazebo, we have a gmappingdemo.launch file. Yeah? So let's open this file. And inside here, what it's doing is basically launching this, the, the gmapping launch file from the Turtlebot navigation package. Yes? In this case, we are just going to add here, because the path is, is not okay, we are just going to add here another path. So it will be includes slash gmapping slash 
gmapping.launch.xml. Yes, this is the correct path of the gmapping launch file. So, yeah, let's save this file. Let's save this change. There it is. And uh, we will launch the gmapping, the gmapping node. So let's let's open uh, a couple of new shells. There it is. One. So by hitting this plus button here, what you will do is to open a new shell in a new window. So let's open a, a couple of them. There it is. And in in one of them we are going to to launch RVs, uh, predefined it configuration of RBs in order to be able to visualize the, ma the mapping process. So for that, let's execute this Tartarbot RBs launchers and the view mapping dot launch. So let's execute this one here. And now if you come in RDS to this icon here, which which is the the open ROS graphic tools icon. If you if you click here, a new window will appear, and here you will be able to visualize uh, RVs. Okay, let's click the login button. There it is. So here we have RVs launch, and now we just need to launch the gmapping node. So let's do this ROS launch total bot gazebo gmapping demo dot launch. There it is. So now in RVs it will appear a first version of the of the map. There it is. So now all we need to do is to move the robot around and create the map. So let's do that. Let's launch the Tartabot Tiliop keyword Teleop launch file. There it is. And with the keyboard Teleop, we will be able to move to control to drive the robot through the keyboard, right? So let's increase a little bit the speed. And there it is. Now you can move the robot around, you can control it with the keyboard. As you can see, the robot is moving in the simulation. And while you move, the map will be created because new, new laser readings will arrive and the map will build. So, yeah, let's Let's do very quick this part here. There it is. There it is. Yeah, let's turn here. Okay, so let's now have a look at RVs. And as you can see, it has built the map for all this new section. Yes, all this new section I am discovering. So all you need to do now is to move to drive the robot around all the cafeteria in order to build a complete map of all the environment. All right, I'm going to cut the video here and I will see you again when I have moved the robot around the whole environment. So when I have the, the full map, okay, in order to make this video quicker. So, see you in a moment. All right, so I am finished. I am done. I have driven the, the robot around the whole environment. And this is the result in RVs. Here I have a, a complete map of the environment. I hope if you are doing this exercise with me that you have more or less the same, that you have also created a complete map. So, what's next? Now, well, now we need to save this map in order to use it later for navigation, right? So let's open a new shell. And here we are going to execute the following command in order to save the map, which is rosran map 
server map saver minus f and here we are going to introduce the path where we want to save uh, the map so in my case I'm going to save it in home user cat king workspace src kabuki charge robot gazebo maps and I'm going to call it uh, for instance my map yeah so let's execute this command excellent there it is so now if I come to the IDE to my files here in the Tuxelbo Gazebo maps directory you see that two new files have appeared the my map pgm and my map yam all right so these files contain the map that I have just created this map here yes excellent so let's go for the navigation itself so let's stop this RV's setup first of all and let's stop the gmapping node there it is all right so now here in the launch files I have the gmapping demo and I have or also the AMCL demo so let's open a second this file here excellent and as you can see basically what is doing here is three things first of all it's loading a map from the map server yes then it's launching the localization node as you can see here and finally it is launching the move base node all right so in here we are going to change a couple of things first of all in in the path of the of the AMC at launch we need to add as well here an extra directory yes so it is includes slash amcl slash amcl.launch.xml this is the correct path for launching the amcl node the amcl launch file yes and finally inside here instead of loading the world from this from this global variable from this environment variable I'm going to load it from my package yes so for that I'm going to add here find Churchillboard gazebo package slash maps slash my map dot yelm yes so now with this what I'm doing is to launch is to load sorry to load to the map file parameter the map that I have just created that I have just saved yes all right so let's now launch this this file the AMCL demo remember to save of course and let's see so here we have the okay very important before trying to perform navigation remember to stop always the if you have any keyboard teleop launch it any teleoperation node kill it because it will conflict with the move base node all right so let's kill this and there it is excellent okay and I'm going to launch another RV setup so in this case I'm going to launch the view planning for instance there it is and here I'm going to launch the AMCL demo launch file there it is excellent so let's wait a little bit until it loads and perfect there it is so I have now the the wall map loaded I have here these green arrows represent the localization of the robot so first thing I'm going to I need to do here is to localize correctly the robot so because here 
in Airbus it says that the robot is It's here, yes? It's saying that the robot is around here, if you see. Yes? But the robot really, in the reality, is here. So it is... It is here, more or less. So we need to tell Ervis that. This is the first thing we'll, we'll need to do, yes? So, okay, let's see, more or less, where the robot is. Okay, so it's there, and it's facing... That will there. Okay, so it doesn't need to be exact, it can be approximate. So, alright, I'm going to select this 2D pose estimate button here in RVs, and I'm going to say that the robot is more or less here and facing there. There we are. Excellent. So now the robot is correctly localized and now I can send goals, navigation goals to the robot. So let's do that. Let's select this 2D nav goal tool and I'm going to send it for instance, let's say here. As you can see, the path is calculated and the robot starts moving towards the goal. Yes? There it is. It's going. It is almost arriving, I think. Yeah. Okay, so let's check the launch file and there it is. Goal reached. So it has reached the goal. Yes? Now you can you can send goals to wherever place you want uh, of the environment of your map and test it and, and, and play a little bit with this, okay? Alright, so well that's all for this for this video tutorial. As you can see, very easy in RDS to perform navigation in any world, in any environment. You can do it very quick and very easily. Yes? And before ending this, this video, let me tell you that in the Robot Ignite Academy, if you want to learn more about navigation, in the Robot Ignite Academy website, you have a, a ROS Navigation in 5 Days course, which is very complete and which will tell you and teach you and with lots of detail, hope to perform navigation step by step how to configure the different nodes, etc, etc. Alright? Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope I have helped you. I hope you have enjoyed the video and, and see you soon.